Yields on the 10-year Treasury note moving lower today. There you go right there, 66 basis points this week. Joining us, Brian Stutland of Equity Armor Investments, TJM's Jim Urio. Jim, where are we going next? Okay, well, in the, if the Fed wanted zero rates, I think we would have had zero rates by now. So I think any trades uh, for lower rates in the short term are fine, but medium and longer term are not comfortable with that in the 10-year. I think right now we are going to test the low of that channel we've had for the last six months, which is approximately 0.55 to point eight. So I think in the near term, 0.55 is doable. I do think as soon as the stock market uh, gets through whatever it's going through right now, I do believe in the medium and longer term, we're going to steepen the curve. And I think I want to see a trade above 0.8. To me, will indicate that it's out of that channel at that point in time. I think the curve will steepen, but I think lower rates in the near term. Yeah, Brian, I mean, even when the market was going up, rates weren't exactly moving like gangbusters. So what, what do you think? Well, I think when you took a look at it, you know, I think there's a couple defined support areas where the Federal Reserve was clearly in the game bidding up treasuries. And if you look at the 10 year note futures is what we trade here on Futures Outlook. There's a couple areas where you found support a little bit lower from here where they bid it up. So even though the market rallied, it seemed the Fed was there to also buy treasuries as well. And to Yurio's point, we're still in this up channel in, in the futures market here. But obviously, interest rates had lower. The 0.55 interest rate is probably a level I also agree with that I'd like to see us touch or at least break through that 80 basis points on the on the up end here. And after we break there, it will be interesting if the Fed then steps back in. If you see the 10 year get back to 1 percent, if they step back in and support the market there, even if we were to get some sort of stock market rally, if that sort of holds steady there. So I would want to see a significant decline in 10 years before I'm totally out of the picture here. Until then, I still think it's a good area to have in your portfolio, 10, 20 percent holding and somebody that wants to be aggressive in the markets, because it is a little wonky right now what's going on in the stock market. There's going to be a lot of sloshing around back and forth in at least 10 years, provide a little bit of protection in that sense. All right, guys, thank you. Good stuff.